Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to e-com series. And in this video, uh, we are going to download e-commerce project. Uh, we have done uh, from part one to part hundred, and uh, now uh, uh, in this video, just I am going to uh, show you that how you can uh, download and run the e-commerce project in your browser. That means uh, in your Zap, in your Apache server, in uh, at offline. Okay. So so let's start. Uh, first of all, open your browser and open the GitHub link. Okay, GitHub link. You can open my profile that I have made. Stack developers. You can open. Okay, so this is the Stack developers profile, and uh, here you can see uh, make ecom in Laravel 5.7. Okay, this one you just need to open this one. Okay, make ecom in Laravel 5.7, and you can see. Uh, this one is having part 1 to 100 means if you uh, want to uh, check you want to compare your code with this one or want to just download uh, and run the project e-commerce project then you can uh, follow these steps okay and also you can see in the video description uh, i have uh, written all the steps there as well you can check and and follow the steps okay so here you just need to click here in download zip okay just you need to click on this download zip and after clicking on this one it's going to download okay it is around i think few mbs only and uh, let it download and uh, you can see here it's downloading at this time and uh, just wait for a few moments and you can see all these files will be downloaded by this and this has been downloaded now and just you can now see here okay so it comes in my desktop okay i can accept as well i can accept here only okay you can also accept that accept kind of winrar or winzip software must be installed in your pc as well Okay, then you can accept in the uh, same means in this desktop uh, only. Okay, you just simply need to accept. Okay, so let's accept it. And you can keep uh, seeing these files, all these files I have added. Uh, but uh, one thing I will tell you uh, that uh, there are two ways. Uh, here you can see one is this one and another is uh, I have already means added this sample 5.700 RAR file as well. Okay, so here you are going to see uh, here. Yeah. Okay, so you can see here. Uh, you can see that vendors folder is missing here and unfortunately uh, it did not upload her. so uh, but uh, we have the another rar file okay you can simply accept this this rar file as well okay because it contain the complete project once again that's why i have put this uh, rar file okay so you can accept this rar file okay or you can simply uh, click on this rar file here and then you can download this as well okay this is easier this is easier to download okay you can straight away download uh, this rar file because it contains all the files and uh, unfortunately uh, this uh, does not contain the vendors folder so so it's better if you click this rar file and download uh, this rar file from here only okay so uh, as I have downloaded downloaded all the files, you can you have seen that I have downloaded all the files. So RAR file itself downloaded, and uh, you can see that RAR file itself downloaded by this. And you can see the RAR file itself downloaded. Uh, okay, so I simply unzip this RAR file and i am going to use that okay but in your case you can simply open this one and download from here and 
then uh, that unzip uh, okay or with winrar software so you can unzip that rar file and these files will come to you after that uh, we just need to copy or cut those files uh, to our apache server offline okay so uh, let's finish this process first then we are going to copy this one so vendor folders take some time to copy so whenever some error comes you can close those errors and can see them downloading okay so wait for few minutes once it will complete then we are going to see further and you can and you can see here as well youtube.com and uh, tech developers this is the channel uh, where uh, you can follow the playlist see after downloading uh, if you are new uh, to this tutorial and if you have downloaded the files uh, but you also need to follow this step by step instruction then it's better that you can follow youtube.com slash tech developers okay and here you can see uh, here by going uh, you can see that you can follow the playlist and it's better if you will follow the admin panel series uh, you can follow this one make admin panel in laravel because it will straight away uh, take you to ecom series as well okay you just need to uh, click on this link and you can play this series it will uh, take you to means uh, e-commerce series as well or straight away you can start e-com series if you are already having some admin panel you can also follow dating series as well so you can just need to open this tech developer channel uh, okay and always subscribe always click on this one and subscribe the channel uh, so that all updates will come to you okay so this is the channel slash tech developer that you can follow anytime now you can see that this has been done and and now we are going to see <coughs> sample 5.700 and this one also contains the vendor folder so what i will do i will just simply copy this one and will uh, will store it in uh, my xam folder okay so you can also do that just simply store in your xam folder in acidox folder and uh, i have made that laravel especially for this one and you can also uh, means just uh, copy this one at your end in your acidox folder means wherever you want in your uh, xam acidox folder okay so let's finish this task and then we will continue <laughs> okay this one is done now and i am going to uh, rename it with ecom hunter okay that will be more clear ecom hunter and uh, yeah this is the ecom hunter and see now uh, we have downloaded all the files and but uh, we also require to uh, means configure the database uh, we need to create and import the database so this one sample.sql file is already located in the folder that we are going to import okay so first of all uh we will run the xamp okay so let's run the xamp here apache server we are going to run and mysql as well we are going to run you can also do this at your end web or xamp whatever you have uh, you just need to start after that uh, i will see here that uh, localhost php my admin must open simply open php my admin and 
you can see here uh, we will uh, add this database and with the name ecom 100 okay and i will just create the database with the name ecom 100 now we can import this sample.sql file okay so for that and just copy and i'm going to paste it here outside okay so that i can easily attach here uh, this file okay so just import this file it will take few minutes to import depends upon the uh, speed of your system as well and then we will continue with our another step okay you can also see that localhost will now work here you will open localhost and uh, 7.2.2 uh, so always remember that we require later zap okay uh, for installing this uh, for downloading this for running this e-commerce project we want latest zap and zap you can always install uh, you can search in google and can install the latest zap from there uh, even you can install web or another server but uh, uh, see the laravel 5.7 requirement that must be 7.1 7.2 in fact uh, okay 7.5 uh, laravel 5.7 requirement you can see you can check in laravel 5.7 requirement installation laravel 5.7 installation you can see here that which version of php it supports it supports 7.1.3 yeah it must be greater than or equal to 7.1.3 so make sure your uh, your uh, php version is more than it so latest zamp or vamp uh, will surely uh, have this version you can see it supports 7.3 but you can also install uh means 7.2.13 uh, uh, you can also install or you can install 7.3 as well okay you can install for 32 bit uh, windows and uh, you can install for linux if you have linux you can install download 64 bit okay and this one i think uh, it can also work in 64 bit okay more downloads are here you can see more downloads here as well and it might uh, yeah 32 bit exam windows okay so you can download from there only and and can try okay if you have windows then you can install this one 7.2.13 i think it's fine and if you have linux then you can also install this one okay so try at your end so here see uh, this one not completed yet See now it has been completed okay so uh, you can check and you can see uh, now uh, that has been done okay uh, now yeah all the tables uh, have arrived here you can see uh, now we can uh, just simply uh, do that thing we can simply open like this okay sorry sorry for that uh, we just uh, need to run that php addition sub command here now we have done this thing we just simply require to run the command php artisan so okay so simply run this first and then we are going to run okay so oh okay so few more things we forgot to do uh, first of all I will open the sublime here and we'll see here cancel and we'll open this one here. Uh, Ecom 100, I will put here and uh, dot e 
PNV file. Okay, we need to update here as well. And here, uh, what we are going to do here, we will update it with ecom 100, and that's everything is fine. And I'm going to run this one once again because it will only pick once I will run again. I'm going to run this one again one more time. And I'm going to close all other folders. Only one folder. I'm going to run this one. Ecom under. Get back here. And PHP artisan curve. Okay. Let's run this one. And you can see now the project will run now. Okay. You can see the project is now running. And you can open its admin as well. Okay. With slash admin and with the admin as username and one two three four five six seven up till seven is the password okay okay now it's fine you can do everything anything you want products you can add categories you can add you can see complete them dummy project is online up till part 100 though it is having some issues and you need to follow the uh, means upcoming videos to to make it error error free and uh, to add more features into it because if you are going to upload this project then your client will surely murder you okay so so it's uh, it's uh, uh, required to follow the uh, other video so that we can resolve all the issues what's coming in this project and make it error free okay and that's all for now I hope you can also download the complete e-commerce project at your end and uh, then uh, means uh, can able to uh, do other changes as well. Okay, that's all uh, for now. Uh, have a nice time. Goodbye.